You don't look too happy, Theron. What is it? They were mounting a resistance. Locals, Imperials, they had resources, a plan, a base of operations. Miot was arranging to smuggle weapons. Gone. They're all gone. The Star Fortress over Bathawui vaporized every last trace, every last rebel, and then just moved on like it didn't matter anymore. There must have been collateral damage in that strike. They'll need our help. Bewanego is reaching out through back channels trying to assess the situation. We've barely got enough supplies for our own people. The Star Fortresses are battle stations, deadly and pervasive. Arkin's way of keeping the galaxy pliant. So many worlds we can't even contact because of these things. There are dozens, maybe hundreds. We've tried everything to learn about their inner workings. Weaknesses, nothing. And now this. Right now they're suppressing, but that's just to bide their time. I feel it, Commander. Arkin's got a plan for those things. The kind of plan you don't recover from. Point me to a star fortress. I'll go. You'll go. And do what? Die? I thought the faintest clue of what we're up against. It's a massive risk. All right. We have to do something. I'll go too. Try to make heads or tails so we know how to deal with them. It's going to work. We'll figure this out. I sure hope so, Commander. Sure hope so. Commander, Lieutenant Marklow. I know all about you, of course. Know the kind of things you Sith represent. And if I hadn't seen with my own eyes what you've done for the camp, what I want to say is, on behalf of every Republic grunt on this rock, we're with you against Sakul, all the way. You good to go? Good luck. If you manage to get inside one of those things, blow it apart. Ready when you are. Setting a course for Alderaan. You think I'm stuffing me out? You're in for a treat. Star Fortress in sight. Let's get you inside so you can knock him down a peg. I'm ready. Take a break. There's a service duct over one of the main observation towers. Should find a lift system in there that'll get you deeper inside. Not sure what's at the heart of this thing. Keep your guard up. I'll be in touch. Vigilance protocols enacted. Looks like you found a hub of activity. Stay on your toes. Getting some big power readings from the levels below you. You should look into it.
sense of the scale of this place. There you go. I know you in labs could be you're about to come across some horribly dangerous experiment.
seeing here the Eternal Empire is placing locals into forced conscription. Not much you can do, I guess. Thought you should know. <laughs> Sky troopers are coming from. Try not to wake anything up down there. Intrusion on Sky Trooper production level. Praetorian unit deployed. Target acquisition complete. Engaging. Factory output rerouted to neutralize security threats. A regret facing us. Execute tactical maneuver 379. Critical unit failure. Start mass producing those things. Great work. Miot says the power source is just a bit below you, a couple levels maybe.
More of those blasted Skytrooper pods. Arkin loves those things, doesn't he? <laughs> Regret facing us. something about ephemeris. See if you can patch me into its data cores. Ephemeris alert. Data center breach in progress. Data center defense protocols enacted. All units respond. Data core compromised. Secondary core engaged. Neural feedback overload. Rebooting. Cipher algorithm. Miad, give me a hand here. Ephemeris alert. Secondary data core failure. System failure. Deploying emergency backup unit. Engaging combat algorithm. Classification, night. System error. Nice work, Commander. Now we'll bypass that shield and. Welcome to my Star Fortress, Outlander. It will also serve nicely as your tomb. Can't get at the shield. Something remote. Have to rethink this. Mia, get a lift open. I've been sifting through everything you pulled from the Star Fortress. 
starting to get a better picture of what we're facing here. What are we looking at? Like I thought, the scope of all this is... Actually, forget what I thought. It's beyond anything I imagined. This friendly guy is part of a special order of knights called Exarchs. You kind of met one. Best I can tell, one of them commands each star fortress. Some were with Valkorion and Arkan when I first arrived on Zaku. Yeah, they've been around a long while. Outside of that, there's not much to say. They have their own ways and agenda. Secretive. All Senya said is that they're devoted to the Eternal Throne and she never, ever want to cross one. Other big piece I was able to work out. The fortress is powered by a massive sun generator, like on Zakul. We could use it to destroy the station, but according to energy readings, the reactor's protected by a remote bunker on the planet's surface. So we take out the bunker, then the reactor. That's yeah, tall order. I mean, not impossible, but we need ground forces and we don't have the personnel, unless... Miat's yeah, been pulling together reports of distress calls, skirmishes, the idea being we'd eventually follow up on them. Here, these are a start. A handful of worlds under the threat of a star fortress, each with potential allies. I can talk to these people, convince them our fight is worth the effort. Well, it'll take some doing. These people have problems of their own. They're not even thinking about Arkin or Zakul. You've got to prove that helping us is their best possible option, which it is. They just don't know it yet. If I help them out, I'm sure they'll help us back. I hope you're right. Wait, who rock way? Why, Jamie?